Okay, let me show. I want to see what you can do on a scooter. Okay. So this is what I can do. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I cling to my scooter because I keep like bonking into cracks and I don't know. Slow, fast, slow, fast. And I couldn't really push that fast. One day. One day I actually could go fast. Rock and roll. Good job. I am so proud of her when she can start doing something new. It brings me so much joy. It's indescribable. Because we had no idea that she would still be standing at the age of six. Sophie is our beautiful six-year-old daughter. She's my best friend. I love this little girl. I've always loved kids. I've always wanted a family. Just swells my heart every day. Sophie loves music and art. She's always wanting to draw pictures of our family, play pretend in her kitchen. She's got a great zest for life. And when you look at her, you might think that she looks just fine, but I fear the progression that's happening inside her body. When Sophie was almost three years old, we received a diagnosis that she had an ultra rare genetic condition called MCTO. It causes progressive loss of bone in the joint areas, as well as dysfunction in kidneys leading to chronic kidney failure. We were devastated, and mostly because there were so many unknowns that we were given. There was no research being funded into learning more. We set on a path to change that in the fastest way possible. We formed our 501c3 to fund scientific research that will find a treatment for MCTO. We formed a scientific advisory board. We started fundraising and set out on the fastest path to a cure. We've got a whole team of people helping her and they all kind of have their own area of expertise. Sophie's team is made up of endocrinologists, hematologists, rheumatologists, all of these clinicians. And at the same time, our people who are focused on work that can be done in the lab to advance our research. We just miraculously have all these people that want to help us. Researchers in laboratories all over the world, they're doing experiments from a cellular level all the way to mouse colonies. There's this sort of future team, and then there's this present team. We always drive in the car a lot, 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 lot. There's so much that helps her just keep a normal life. Therapists, doctors, x-rays. I take a lot of medicine four times a day. I have braces, and Miss Jess helps me with movements for my feet and my hands. My goal for Sophie is to keep the muscles that are capable of being strengthened strong so that when we find a medication that she's ready to go. Everyone's goal is to find a treatment for MCTO. But it's not that simple. Time is one of the most important elements in this entire thing. We have to go for the fastest path to slowing this progression because we don't ever know if she'll be able to gain the bones that she's lost back. The quickest way would be to find a drug that's already out there that could be repurposed to treat MCTO. And our studies will inform the best therapeutic to work against the condition. Our goal as the Scientific Advisory Board is to better understand the basic science of the condition. I am Nina Ma. Sophie's pediatric endocrinologist and director of the Bone and Mineral Metabolism Program at Children's Hospital Colorado. We are currently working on the first ever natural history study for patients with MCTO. This is crucial to offer a therapeutic to be able to prove safety and efficacy. If we can slow or stop some of this progression, it's a lot better than finding a cure in 10 years when her body is just completely destroyed by then. Time is the most important element in this entire thing. The doctor said 
Dolphin. She has special bones. I've been involved in Sophie's case starting early on, and I have been able to see the ups and downs of her journey. I continue to see progression of her condition. There is disappearance of the bones in her wrists and ankles. Some of the bones are actually not forming at all, or they appear smaller and atypical. So we are up against the clock. The bones are changing with every week, every month, every year. And those who have kidney function impairment, that is also progressive. I get torn between being happy for her progress and being afraid of the future. What I'm scared about for Sophie is that her independence will not come, that she's not going to have those normal moments, and her memories may be more tied around doctor visits, braces, when her joints lock up on her, or when she stops being able to use her hands. We never want her to lose her spark. When I see her thrive, it drives me to keep pushing for her. She's trying her best, and we have to try our best for her. When I grow up, I want to be a princess, an artist, and a ballerina, and a scientist, because who helps me as a scientist? She's got a spark in her, and we don't ever want to see that burn out. We want Sophie to know she's got a lot of love in her life. Without our community, we honestly would not be anywhere, both from a scientific standpoint through fundraising, as well as the love and support that we feel that drives us. Sophie's neighborhood loves me.